Hello everyone, welcome to my month 10 vlog. So at the time of filming it is Christmas Eve and we're celebrating with my boyfriend's family. Today we're going to do an unboxing, long time no unboxing, um, I have ordered these the other day and I'm so excited to show you guys what's inside because when I found these online, I literally got them straight away. So it's winter in Japan right now and it's quite cold, so I was looking for like a scarf and I've been like avoiding all materials other than cotton and it's pretty hard to find like scarves made in cotton and I found them online they are 100% cotton but they kind of look like knit material I don't know how they do it but it's 100% cotton Ta -da. I got green they even like stretchy knit like material but they are 100% cotton this is really cute i love it and the other one this one's like a brownie beige color cute See, it says cotton 100%. But I found that um, I was prepared for like a really cold winter in Japan, which it is. But everywhere you go, the air conditioning's on, so it's really warm, especially in the train. So you gotta be really careful because um, usually when you're out to go shopping or whatever, you're usually like inside somewhere. So the whole day you're out you're pretty much in warm air conditioning and the only time you feel cold is when you're just like outside moving to places um so i found that my skin's been getting itchy because i sweat due to like wearing a lot but being in the air conditioning in the train or wherever um, so yeah, that's my only problem being here. And yeah, today's Christmas and I am going to an Airbnb with my boyfriend for three nights. So that's exciting. I'm packing for that right now. My boyfriend just washed my hair for me and oh my god, it feels so nice and fresh. So smooth and silky. It's the 29th of December, which means uh, it's nearly, it's the end of the year. I'm trying to get all my YouTube videos edited and scheduled um, to post before the before the new year so we'll see how that goes because i've got heaps of content i need to edit wish me luck in japan new year's is a massive celebration so japanese people prepare a lot for the new year's day and it's a tradition to eat mochi on the day so my boyfriend's mum made mochi and we're rolling it up so it's ready for new year's day and it was so much fun 
and it's such a nice time to connect with your family and yet I'm just so grateful to be part of this family tradition with my boyfriend's family so yeah I'm so thankful <laughs> I just realized why this side of my face was not like healing well and this side of my face is just like fine so every night when I go to sleep I think I naturally turn this way and sleep on this side of my face so then like the moisture or like my sweat or whatever affects my cheek so I think that's the reason why I was brushing my teeth and I realized that it that might be it so i've been tr having troubles at night um because when i lie down like i i don't like the feel of like the clothing and the bed sheets pushing against my skin and i think that triggers the itch and i feel really uncomfortable so i'm thinking of trying to like stay sitting down while going to sleep so i might bring a chair down and sit on it tonight and we'll see how it goes because once every night the moment i lie down i start getting hot and like itchy i feel like it's um the stress as well from anticipating what might happen because every night i get an i get i because every night i get at least one itch attack and every morning I wake up with weepy skin so I think I get stressed by thinking about it and you know um, I think lying down triggers that memory so I'm gonna try and sit down tonight it is officially New Year's Day and in Japan it is said to be good luck to see the first sunrise of the year so you can see there's heaps of people out here early in the morning to see the first sunrise and luckily my boyfriend's parents house is at the best location ever so we didn't have to go outside like out out and it's also Japanese tradition to have this bento box called osechi usually people order it online or at like a restaurant but my boyfriend's mom handmade it all by herself like look at how many dishes are in the bento she made them all can you believe that also january 1st is my boyfriend's birthday so this is a handmade cake by me it is dairy free gluten free and refined sugar free and it, it tasted amazing like i'm so proud of myself and look how good it looks so a few days later i went back to my grandparents house in tokyo and i found this soy milk yogurt at the shops so here's me giving it a try little did i know how bad it was going to taste my reaction says it all <laughs> i had so much hope but it was not good i did not like it so i ended up adding like date syrup and i also added in some granola to make it taste better and it was like okay but i just wouldn't eat it again Grandpa goes for a walk for an hour every day and I decided to go with him today and it was such a nice quality time with him and we saw the ducks in the pond and yeah we just spent the time talking and just looking at nature so I really enjoyed it.
My grandma is such a great cook and this is what my breakfast looks like and it's such a traditional breakfast and I love it. Hello guys, I made something really yummy. So this is a sweet potato paste and this is soy milk whipped cream. It is amazing, oh my god. They have really good like products in Japan that are gluten and dairy free. They have this um, soy milk thickened cream in Japan and they are so good. Like I made the whipped cream out of that and um, sweetened it with maple syrup and date syrup. And I added that whipped cream into the, the sweet potatoes. So I microwaved the sweet potatoes and then I mashed it up and then added the whipped cream in it. And then actually added some soy milk because it was too thick. And this tastes amazing. And I have it with this gluten-free bread and it's so yummy. It's so good. Mm. So I found this tofu mozzarella type of cheese, so it's plant-based cheese at the shops, so I obviously had to try it. It was actually really good, surprisingly. Like I've tried so many plant-based um, cheese in the past in Australia, and this was by far the best tasting one and the texture was nice too and yeah i just keep finding all these plant-based and gluten-free things in japan and i just have to try them all i keep getting them but most of them taste so good compared to what you find in australia later that day the epsom salt that i ordered had arrived i ordered i think 10 kilos um so it was really heavy. I'm about to hop in the Epsom salt bath and I'm gonna put in some oats and I'm gonna put them in this bag so that the oats itself doesn't come out into the bath because it's gonna clog the drain. And I'm gonna add apple cider vinegar as well to prevent infections. I'm so excited. So this is the salt that came today. So yeah, it's been two months since I've last hopped into a bath, any kind of bath. So I'm pretty excited. I used to do Dead Sea Salt Baths back in Australia, but I haven't been able to do them since coming to Japan. So this will be my first time in a long time.